Well, what do you say we ruined some songs forever, huh? Does that sound like fun? <laughs> Today, we're looking at some Miss Her lyrics that you can never unhear. And it's gonna ruin them forever. All right, why don't we start with an innocent one, Destiny's Child and Bootalicious. I don't know what fish jelly is, but it sounds disgusting. I don't think you're ready for this I'm here. I'm hearing. I don't think you're ready for Fitzgerald. Who the hell is Fitzgerald? Fitzgerald. You know what? What the hell do they say there? Well, we do have science to help us figure this one out. If you're not familiar with it, it's the text-to-speech test. This is where I use a text-to-speech app, and it will tell us what they're saying. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. Is that it? <gasps> Holy buffalo ball sacks. <laughs> it is literally, I don't think you're ready for this jelly. What kind? Fish jelly? Jelly jam? <laughs> Song came out in 2002. That was a long time ago and now I finally know what they're saying. Don't really care either. How about Queen? Everyone loves Bohemian Rhapsody. How about I ruin it for all of you? The elder poop has a devil motorcycle? When I hear devil motorcycle, I just, I picture something Rob Halford would drive. Uh, I guess he's an elder poop. Is this talking about Rob Halford? The elder poop has a devil motorcycle. Well, we all know the actual lyrics are Beelzebub, Beelzebub, Bob, Beelzebub, Jeff. Has the devil put aside for me? But is this song ruined forever? Let's see what the text to speech says about this one. Has a devil put aside for me. Beyonce as a devil. I don't think this is ready for fish jelly. <laughs> Say is a devil? <laughs> oh, that's hot. Yes, I'm sure that's what Queen was saying like 20 years before Beyonce was even born. Okay, next up we have Sleeping with Sirens. Say that one with a lift. Sleeping with Sirens. So this is a song from Sleeping with Sirens. The song is called Alone, featuring Mag you check my holes for me to see if I'm alive. You really think that's the best place to check? To see if you're alive still? You know what? Can one of you check Kellen Quinn's balls for me? Because judging by his singing, he doesn't have any. You check my balls for me? <laughs> I like how the guys at the door are like, ah, I'm not letting you in, I ain't checking your balls. Kellen Quinn, you frickin' weirdo. Could you check my balls for me to see if I'm lying? <laughs> Okay, well, I'm guessing is could you check my pulse for me? He has a mild case of Dave Mustanatosis, who pronounces balls instead of pulse. You try to take his balls. <laughs> you know, I'll never be able to listen to this song same ever again because I'm sick of hearing about Kellen Quinn's balls. But let's give Kellen Quinn's balls the test. The tits' test. Could you check my balls for me? Set my photos nude. <laughs> what? Set my photos nude? No, I don't want to see Kellen Quinn's balls. I, I'm sick of talking about Kellen Quinn's balls. I, I mentioned Kellen Quinn's balls. Who knows how many times? Here's a counter. Balls, 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 balls. How about Coldplay? In uh, Viva La Vida, the song they stole from Joe Satriani. <laughs> wow, Chris Martin. You want to check if someone's afraid and that's the first place you check? Hey, Chris Martin, take a look. Do you sense any fear there? Do you sense any fear? Feel the fear in my enemy's ass. <laughs> that was full-blown ass. Ooh. Ass. Christopher, you're supposed to be saying eyes. It's pronounced eyes, not eyes. Ass. Hey, Chris Martin, what's your favorite animal? Ass. Well, guess I'll never be able to listen to that song the same ever again. 
Oh right, I don't listen to that song. You guys remember Lil Bow Wow? Yeah, he's not so little anymore. Now he's Bow Wow. And here's a misheard lyric from his song, Let's Get Down, featuring Baby. Now about to test your peas, Lil Bow Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? Now about to test your peas, Lil Bow Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was not ready for this fish jelly. Now about to test your peas, Lil Bow Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he's just like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I'm cool with this. What was he checking off? Is it on his bucket list for this guy to touch? Uh, um, excuse me, sir. While you're at it, can you uh, check Kellen Quinn's balls? See if he's still, oh, I'm over it. Before I look up the actual lyrics, I gotta know what the t tis test thinks. <laughs> now about to test your peas, Lil Bow Wow. Your peas look bad. Wow. Your peas look bad? <laughs> okay, the actual lyrics are now I am about to test ya peas. What the f does that mean? Okay, I just listened to the song with earbuds and let me tell ya, these earbuds are freaking amazing! Ah! Mm, mm. Sorry. <laughs> I just get excited because I love Raycon because they're the sponsors of this video and they also made my everyday headphones that I've had for probably years at this point. You got tiny eurotosis? No problem. The Raycons come with five interchangeable gel tips to fit any size audio orifice. And a point that I cannot stress enough, they will never fall out. I don't care if you're jogging or doing a fish impersonation. <laughs> like these freaking things fall out whenever you go like, and then they like, and Raycons offer eight hours of playtime, 32 hours of battery life, and they still hold that charge years later. I use my Raycons literally every single day. Heck, even to record this video, I was setting up listening to music through Bluetooth, and you got your one tap to play or pause, double tap to skip to next song, or triple tap to uh, raise the volume. You got all your controls right there, and most importantly, the sound quality is amazing. They sound on par, or if not better, than other premium audio brands at half the price. So if you want a sick pair of earbuds, I got you. Click on my link in the description or go to buyraycon.com slash steve t to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. You will not regret it. You know what? Why don't we ruin a country song forever for country fans? I don't listen to country, so this doesn't bother me. This is Zach Brown Band, Knee Deep. Had sweet love, but I lost it. She got too close so far to now. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Zach Brown can't get a girlfriend. Cause anytime a girl gets too close, he farts. Hello, Zach Brown. <laughs> she got too close so far to now. This guy legitimately flatulated. Do you hear anything else in there besides farted? Farted. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why it's the Zach Brown band? Cause his pants are brown? Tits his test. She got too close so far to now. She got too close so far now. Is that it? Did it get right lyrics again? Oh no, it's she got too close so I fought her. Well that's not much better, Zach Brown. So you don't fart when girls approach you, you just beat them up? <sighs> now we're gonna ruin one for me. We're gonna ruin my childhood right now. My favorite band is The Cars. This is their song, Touch and Go. Yeah! Rick Ocasek! That kind of kite just ain't gonna fly. <laughs> the lyrics are supposed to be flying like a cement, cement kite. Rick, pronounce it with me. Cement. Themen. Cement! Semen! Yeah, let me fix it for you. Okay, well, let's test it and see if my childhood really is ruined. He's saying semen, though. He really is. You semen. Alright, next up we got a classic from Jim Croce. And this is You Don't Mess Around with Jim. You don't tug on Superman's cape. <laughs> no, you do not. Hey, you don't tug on Superman's cape. <laughs> no. 
Oh my god, I just figured it out. You don't tug on Superman's cape! Oh! Oh, thank god! <laughs> okay! You don't tug on Superman's cape. Oh, that's a shame. I'm still hearing dick. It's very odd to hear dick instead of cape. Superman, I love how your dick is flapping in the wind. What? I said I love how your cape is flapping in the wind! This video is just going in some weird directions, man. I, I was picturing the video going like this, and then and now it's just going, Whoa! You know what, though? We gotta... Uh, or why don't we do another... Let's ruin another classic by Simon and Garfunkel, Mrs. Robinson. Simon and Garfunkel. Jesus loves you more than you will know. I've heard this song a million times, and I've never heard that... Jesus loves you more than you will know. <laughs> Jesus, slutty woman, you will know. Ho, ho, ho. I mean, I know the actual lyrics are Jesus loves you more than you will know. How do we go from Jesus loves you to she's a slutty woman? Jesus loves you more than Oh, I am hearing slutty Mormon. Is that a thing? Jesus, slutty Mormon, you will know. Ho, ho, ho. Sorry. Speaking of ho ho ho, we've got a Christmas song. Now, I'm almost embarrassed to admit that I love Christmas music, and we're gonna ruin a Christmas song forever. <laughs> this is a classic one. Brenda Lee, rocking around the Christmas tree. Later we'll have some pumpkin pie. Oh my good lord. She said pie. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Another one. Never again will I listen to the song and not hear fucking pie. Pumpkin pie. <laughs> Don't you just love gathering your family around for a delicious Christmas pie? Later we'll have some pumpkin pie. And we'll do some caroling. I've heard this song a million times in my lifetime. Never did I hear pie until now, and now I can't unhear it. Pumpkin pie. Yep, it's pie. God damn it. <laughs> Brenda Lee, you slutty Mormon. I mean, no matter what the test says, this song is still ruined for me. Pumpkin pie. Later we'll have some walking. Really, phone? Later we'll have some walking? How do you have some walking? Is English your first language? And actually, when you cut the music out, all I heard was pumpkin pie. But the song's still ruined. All right, next up we got Will Ferrell, featuring Daft Punk and Nile Rodgers. I think a lot of you know where this one's going already. Like the legend of the Phoenix. Yeah, Ferrell, Ferrell. <laughs> Gotta watch your pronunciations. Like the legend of the Phoenix. <laughs> yep, yep, it's penis all right. You've heard the legend of the penis, right? The lyrics are Phoenix, not You guys are so immature. You guys are probably laughing at this. <laughs> Let's see if Tita's Test has heard of this legendary Pecker. Like the legend of the Phoenix. The legend of the Phoenix. That's probably the nicest lyric ever, but I definitely heard Phoenix without the music in there. Much more Phoenixy, much less Phoenixy, right? Well, I, that's about all the songs I'm ruining today. You know, I sure did have a blast with you, slutty Mormons. Maybe I'll go get some f pie and check Kellen Quinn's balls. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs>